These are the kind of calls you need, uh, Matt Hillock on. What? David! Uh, David! Yes. David, it's Giant St. Clair. How are you today? Good to talk to you, yes. Yes. Okay. So, you are right. I, I, I read your ad, and you are right. About what? You feel like you've been having telepathic communications? Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I, yes. I thought, you yes. are right. I. It's a celebrity of some sort, right? Um, no, I'm not having connections with celebrities. I was uh, having these uh, interesting, what would you call them? Um, uh, I don't know what the word would be, but they're with a person that I've been flirting with on Facebook. Okay. And it's basically a, an academic. She's a professor in Oxford, England, who is a climatologist and I help her out in a very kind of friendly platonic way but then at the same level I start getting these very interesting messages from her uh, what I think is via a psychic connection okay please explain more and, 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 and it's something that I for a long time tried to resist saying no I don't want to believe in this and now I think that she is sort of like engaging in communicating with people via a psychic matter. I believe you are right. Please, please keep going. Yeah, um, anyway, uh, I don't know what um, should I start from the beginning? Why not? Okay, uh, but I didn't get on the Facebook until about two years ago, and when I did, I almost immediately... I, we may need her. to go back farther, but if that's where you want to start, that's fine. Um, I didn't really know her until then. Okay, I was just thinking maybe you wanted to start way, way back, but that's fine. A couple years yeah. ago, go ahead. But two years ago, I went on Facebook, and I almost immediately came upon her and remembered her from a lot of different things, and we had this very friendly, uh, flirtatious back and forth, and then all of a sudden I began getting these like messages, and I began wondering, who is contacting me? Who, why am I falling in love with a complete stranger, which is the feeling that I had? And then I began to anticipate what she was going to do, that she would post things that I was about to, or she would, I would know exactly what she was going to do next. And I began feeling this sort of simpatico with this individual, and I also began saying to myself, this is absurd, why are you having these deep emotions for somebody who basically you don't know? And I thought, don't do this, don't project upon complete strangers. Okay. Yes, yes. That makes so, sense. So I began thinking, be very skeptical, be very practical, and I helped out. She, she's like a, a a wildlife professor, naturalist at Oxford University. Very interesting person. Yes. Not someone you would think would be like that, but I began realizing what she does is she kind of wants to raise awareness to her cause, and so she does two things. She's very spiritual and creative, and then she's a total flirt. Okay. And I began going, oh, okay. She, and you don't know if she's single or not. She doesn't make any indication of it. Mm -hmm. And so for her, every guy's nuts about her because they think she's really sexy. And at the same time, she's advancing her message. Yes. And I began going, okay, okay. She's just using, this is just what women do. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But then I began having these intense, not intense, emotional feelings about her and yes. thinking am i in love with this woman it's it's and actually I, something I she's she you are absolutely right this is why i was drawn to your ad she is actually you're right projecting she is the one who's sending the messages out and the way that she does it is she she has created a similar relationship with a man who owns a radio tower yeah and he allows her time in the tower alone now and he goes into or she goes into the tower and she actually has this device that she hooks up and and i know this sounds crazy but this is how the people who are master masters at telepathy this is how they do it because telepathy can only go so far the range is only so far so you actually need you know a booster so to say right so mm -hmm. there's this helmet that she puts on and she boosts out the signal now 
I understand that you're falling madly in love with her, and she is definitely sending you messages, but she she would only be interested in being your concubine, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so don't give her your all, and understand that concubines typically run the same course as succubus so they they what does that what does that exactly mean a concubine oh it's a uh, it's a woman who will who will live with a man even though that man is married and has another you know has a wife it's the it's uh, you know it's the second woman okay okay and and that's okay you know it's not me judging that's her thing so she she's into that and and that's what you may and you may be into it so you may be fine too but understand when she's in the radio tower with the helmet on sending out signals that you're not the only one that she sends signals to okay i, I understand that she, you, she constantly goes on about other men yes and she and she uses the you know she uses the telepathy in the radio tower to send the signals to help advance her situation right she does have a cause that she views as greater than her own she's not an evil person but she's willing to manipulate to further that cause if that mm -hmm. makes sense so i mean i could tell you a lot about her if you need me to um, are you interested? Let me ask you this first. Are you interested if even if she was only a concubine, so to say, you know, and she was um, not your one, would you still be interested in knowing about her? I would. At the same time, part of me wants to be very, very skeptical and guarded. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to end up getting all bent out of shape over somebody who is essentially sort of like, coming and going as things are. Yes. I, I, I'd like to get to know her, and yes. there's a part of me that thinks I'm going to meet her someday. Yes. And, and, and another side... And you could... Yeah. You could, you could here, there's the thing. is There's many different levels of relationship, right? Um, she yeah. is definitely somebody that you could have sex with. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, but then but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes. If I did have sex with her, mm -hmm. it would end. Because <laughs> uh, I've had these kind of things before mm -hmm. where it's like, oh my gosh. Oh, oh the chode issue. And then, then the second you have yeah. sex, it ends. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's some, some, it's some, guy, some guys are longer than they are wide, and some guys are wider than they are long. I, I get your problem. See, here's my thought. I wouldn't want, because I, I had a girlfriend from 30 years ago, same situation, and then I used finally got together and we had sex and it ended and i was yes. devastated i go uh-uh oh no you I do it again. yes i would i would um i would recommend finding some before you meet her so you can have sex with her more than once i would recommend finding some um i i, I my own personal term is practice women right that's a good point that's a very very good point my argument is that if I ever do meet her, mm -hmm. don't try to do anything like that. Rather, be yes. a night. Because I'm saying to myself, you've done this before. Yes. It's devastating. This time, if she is this sort of psychic, telepathic person who wants to communicate and she is. with you, yes. don't do anything like that. Or, Rather, or use your own telepathic friend myself to know exactly what she likes part of the problem part of men's problem in general and so i assume you fall under this category is we don't do the things that women like so after oh, no. we do have sex with them once they kind of just you know oh, okay that he enjoyed it but i gotta go find something i like so the key is before you have sex with a woman is to completely understand what it is she likes and she's into she's into she's into food play you in the food play? Yes. If, are you familiar with the term food play at all? What does that mean? Um, that means she likes to have food and you know food involved in her sexual encounters. Um, she I can never. She, that never occurred to me. That's she, really wild. She can enjoy normal sex. She can, but not by a man with a chode. So the key is to do what she likes, and she likes food play. She very much likes mayonnaise. 
Are you telling me that this woman likes mayonnaise during sex? Yes, and I know that sounds crazy, but keep in mind, she is she is connected to this world in a very different way. And, you know, so women are into different things, and men are into different things, too. I'm just telling you some of her turn-ons. And so, okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, I, mayonnaise, how? Well, I'd say it. Um, <laughs> she likes it, you know, rubbed on her like a lotion, um, licked off of her, rubbed into her, air, uh, her hair, um... I'm I'm hold on. I'm being shown I'm being shown that one of her most pleasurable times in sex is she was having sex with a man. There there was a I'm seeing another man there, I think. There's so maybe two men and there was mayonnaise being rubbed into her eyes. And oh, that's brand new for me. Yeah, yeah, like hey, I don't judge. I don't judge. If I I you know I well, like blood. I like thing. blood play. Weird. So you know, I don't play judge me either. So, but see, he, he, here's the odd thing about this woman. Is okay, that I feel I get these messages from her, uh-huh. and I think maybe there's just sort of an all a, 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 a an all purpose uh, press release. And I yes. realize that these messages are not sexual, and I say, oh no, make them sexual, get them out of your system. Okay. And no, they're actually more like nurturing, mm-hmm. and you're being nice to her, and she's asking for help to protect these animals that she wants to yes. uh, preserve. Again, and she's pushing I, her and cause. And my fantasies with her are not sexual so much as more like mm-hmm. uh, nurturing, romantic, and being nice to her. I think. Her up, I think. That makes her feel okay. Safe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna view this I'm I, I this is kind of where I'm seeing um, this is going towards a um, another kink that may play a role into hers and I think for sure it plays a role into yours which is um, um, baby diaper play have you ever heard uh, of that again I don't see that well I'm I'm um, seeing it because you like to be nurtured which means um, no I don't mean that I mean. Have you ever, have you ever, as an adult, have you ever worn a diaper, laid in a crib, and had a woman no. give you a bottle? No, not at all. No. Okay. My argument is she's more like a mother asking people to help her protect her children, and her children are oh. animals that live in the forest. Okay. And I okay. I yes. feel compelled to be to be supportive and nurturing towards her, and to be reassuring. And there's no kind of like this. To be honest. There is no sexual thing about it. It's okay. more of a of a being nice to someone who is trying to care for what she regards as her children. Okay. Yes. And, yes. And, and and so that's why she uses her sexuality or her flirting wait. to well, see, what to attract she men, along with the radio tower, to she help take with everybody her. online. Yes. And everyone reacts to her, and the more attention she gets, the more she can raise awareness to her cause. And I realize that I'm just one of maybe a dozen, if not more. Yes, there's many more. At the same time, I feel a genuine affection and love for her. I realize I'm just one of many. Yes. She makes a point of talking about the other men in her life. Have you ever thought about asking her on a date and make and and, uh, and not a date where you have a restaurant make food, one where you would make the food and make her a tuna fish taco? I'd love to, but she lives in England and I'm in New Jersey. Okay. Well, I mean, there are airplanes. You know, yeah. you know, or yeah, it's, it's, or it's, because when she's plugged into that radio tower, it is almost it, it almost feels like a reality. So all you really have to do is get her pregnant somehow, and she will be yours forever. Um, there's the that when we come back to the whole issue is that I'm thinking if I did that. If I because I did this like thirty years ago, uh-huh. I was like, okay, I hooked up with this babe I known for a long time, and we had sex, and it was terrible. And I'm going, whoa, same thing here. I would watch out. Yes, I, I don't want to. Do you need a Prince Albert. Same mistake. I don't want to be delusional. Right, and you need a Prince Albert. That 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 will do it for her when she. Like I said, some men suffer with, you know, having more girth and length. Um, the chode syndrome, it's not a big deal. A lot of men are affected by that. So what you need to do is get a Prince Albert. 
you need to get a piercing on your penis and then when she sees what? that and share a picture with her and she will come to you in jersey uh, excuse me please run that by me one more time <laughs> okay so what my spirit guides are showing me is that you need to have your you need to have a piercing a prince albert they refer to them in your penis it's so it's like a little it's almost like a, a toy when 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 you're having sex with a woman it moves around and stimulates her and when you 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 need to continue your conversations with her and then show her a picture of your new prince albert prince albert piercing and she will leave england for jersey um wait uh, hold on could you run that by one more time I, i'm trying to okay you're telling me i can do what get a piercing in your penis it's called uh, prince okay. albert and you can look it up and and some women are into it because it stimulates them in a way that other things can't and when she realizes that you're different than other men because you have this side to you she will leave new jersey or she will leave england for new jersey or piercing yes but it's it's a piercing it's a prince albert you can look it up sir they typically cost you know your typical piercing is going to be twenty to forty dollars, but because it's a Prince Albert, for the guy to you know handle your junk and go in there, he's probably going to want about seventy bucks. Um, and then a picture of that is going to stimulate her in a way that she needs. And then when she comes to Jersey, if there's any way that it possible that you could get her pregnant, you will change. You know how you were talking about you know like she views the you know her what she cares about like her children that now she will have a child and that care will go that way and sh you will be the dominant father figure and the way that the world of the apes works is that that means that you're in charge and so you could actually say you're going to stay here in jersey and she will she will and then um, if things go okay. right you guys yeah. can get your own radio tower and you could still use her powers, but for your bidding. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, interesting. I. I can't. I won't go yay or nay on what you said. Okay. But she's a. She's a. A, a professor at Oxford. Yeah, and that's. She travels to Asia all the time to do research. And uh -huh. the last thing she does is is anything that would compromise that. No, so she's. Point is, I don't, uh, she there's there's college. That she could. I'm sure Jersey has some kind of community college or something she could work at. She likes. Uh, she likes college. I don't think someone who. Uh, I don't think a professor at Oxford would want to teach in New Jersey. Well, she could be a dean uh, or something, vice principal. Um, I, I I've entertained that fantasy that you would want to do that here, and I try to be very realistic. I try to be extremely. Yes, about I can tell, yes. Fire thing. Before I contacted you, I thought, no, no, Dave, you're projecting, you're fantasizing, you're deluding yourself. I don't think someone like her would do that because she has the status and she has the tenure of a professor at Oxford. Mm -hmm. she, wouldn't do these, she wouldn't do certain things. And right. My, I, I'm always trying to sell. I'm always trying to sell myself, saying, "Dave, you're wrong." Now, Dave, let me tell you this. Now, you say that. Why would a professor from Oxford move here? You know that that whole thing. Yeah. But why would a professor from Oxford want to telepathically send messages from a radio tower? Because she wants to communicate with everyone, and uh, and on these Facebooks of hers. She flirts with everyone, and they respond with love and marriage proposals, and they ask her if she's single, and they make it seem as if she is this wanted, desired woman. But none of them have ever shown her a picture of their penis with a Prince Albert. Uh, we don't know that. We don't know that. I'm being and told, I'm you got to remember, I have a little connection here. I'm being told that that's what a winner over, so... If that's the uh, case, I've heard, I've I'm assuming that, nobody I've heard, has. I've heard women say that shots like that don't turn them on. 
Well, we're I, not I mean, talking I, about I, your. I, I, I don't mean how many women do you know that send saying. telepathic messages from a radio tower? Skeptical. How many women do we know that send telepathic messages from a radio tower? I believe this woman's a little different than your average woman. Well, I I agree with you on that. She really is not like. I flirt with lots of women online, mm -hmm. and I do so in a polite, you fun, talk, silly way. I'm not gross with them. You talk to hot babes all day. I'm jealous. I have to admit. I never, I never show. I never do that. She is different. I agree with you on okay. that. Okay. And my thought is, a, uh, an image of me, of my genitals pierced, as you say. I don't think it would be any sort. <laughs> Well, I, I, I just that's what my I my spirit like, guides yeah. are. That's what my spirit guides are telling me. I, they're rarely wrong, Dave. I mean, uh, I, I mean, of uh, course that maybe that's not your approach. They're just telling me that I, she well, would be my, into my it. My point is this: she has been all over the world and met probably every conceivable person there is to meet. I don't think I, I, I always put myself. I say I am not special to her. I am one of. 10, maybe 30 people, she has a, a psychic newsletter. But there is an emotional thing uh -huh. that connects. And it's not sexual, it's emotional. It's like a mother, it's like someone saying, please help my old lady walk across the street. Because I sit there and I go, it's, I, I, sit, I sit around all day long going, what, make it sexual. What is, what is sexual. the last, I'm just curious, what is the last message that she had sent you? Okay, the last message. Um, okay, okay. Um, well, it was on... Okay, um, okay. It was like two days ago. I okay. was just taking a nap, and all of a sudden, I was being told, oh, 15 years ago, this happened. And I woke up, and I go, 15 years ago? Mm -hmm. And she does that on her social media. She talks uh, about how... Yes. Ten years ago, her dog died. Five years ago, this happened. Okay. Two years ago, this happened. And I'm going, why am I being told 15 years ago about this? And I'm being think, I'm thinking, I'm being like told these sort of random things. Or she talks about how she takes her dog for a walk twice a day. I'm thinking, okay. I know this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's then now. Okay. That gives me a little better view on kind of what I'm seeing here of a mixture of the, the messages I'm getting. Um, so I think, do you have do you have a computer near you? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to need you, the, the, I, this is going to help the situation because you're probably right. You, her, your need for her is not, it's not necessarily sexual. It could be. I'm being told it could be. It is. But it's may, it's there's a lot that needs to be built. I, off of that, or the time that you have sex with her, just like the lady 30 years ago, she, it may be the only time, right? So right. there's a little bit that has to be built here. So um, could could you go to this website for me? And I'm going to guide you through, and it's going to, I'm getting a picture that's going to bring up an article or maybe it's a tutorial video. Anyways, it's going to help the situation. Do you, do you have your computer right now? Yeah, online. Okay. Right now. Okay. Can I'm can you turn the volume up so I can hear it? What do you want well what do you want me to do? Well I need you to go to uh, the website is help desk corporate. Can you type that in? And turn turn okay. the volume up if you I, I, I really don't want to go online to something I don't know about. What is No no no. About? This is going to lead I'm being told by my spirit guide that this is going to lead there's a video there's a it's i can't put it together i'm so sorry dave i have trouble putting together all the communications with the spirit guide sometimes okay so there's an answer here that's what i'm being told there is an answer here this is it's it's a help desk corporate it's i it's 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 not i i'm having trouble i'm being told that this is the site help desk yeah so H E L P D E S K, the word corporate dot com, and then and then when that pops, I'm seeing a vision of it like a tree. If you go there, is there a tree? I I don't know. That's corporate. Okay. When you go there, is there a tree? 
now I see a woman looking at a computer talking on a cell phone. Help desk dot court. Oh, okay. Then, then what? Uh, I'm trying to get from my spirit guides. Then what? What? What's? What's he have to go? I. I'm, no, I'm talking to my spirit guides. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting into a deeper trance here. I'm sorry. Okay, there's. You have to enter the site now. Is there? Can you turn up your volume? What volume? Uh, the volume on your computer, sir. Uh, Dave, Dave, the volume on your computer because it's going to say something. Is the volume up? Uh, the volume is up. Yeah. Up. It's so I could hear it if it came across. Um, I'm, 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 there's no noise, there's no sound. Okay, is there a, a place, now it, it's, it, okay, click enter, there's like an enter, something that says enter? There's an enter site. Okay, click that, please, please, that's where it is. I see, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, what is happening? It's, I can't hear the words. Dave, what is what is happening? I just went on some gay porn shit. I'm sorry. I just went on some gay porn crap. I don't. I, the the it's very confusing to me. Then it is extremely confusing. Maybe what it's it just, saying. I went on this is gay porn stuff, which I find very very. Okay, I'm not sure know, why the spirits took us there. What? I'm not sure why the spirits took us there. I'm trying to put figure it out. Maybe. Maybe she wants you to have sex with a man. Well, you know, man, I, I, I don't mean, Gian, I, I don't mean to be down on you, but you sent me on to something that was a gay porn site, which I really am not very uh, uh, positive about, you know, and I okay. hope the computer isn't uh, disturbed by it or ruined by it. I, I don't mean to be disrespectful to you, but you, you sent me to something that looks like I, I'm not into that stuff, you know, and I hope my computer is not affected. I think anyway. I think what what but what the spirit guides are telling me then is, you may not be into it, but she needs you to be into it. I don't into what into gay gay stuff. Um, In, into the gay. I, listen, man, I, I got nothing against gays. I got nothing against them. I've known gay people. Can you go work that. a glory hole so tonight? That, that, what this is, that what this is all about? You're trying to find some way of getting people into gay stuff? Is that what this is? No, but I would... I, can you go work a glory hole tonight? Could you please? I think the spirits tell me that is the I mean, way. What are, you, what are you talking about? Um, to go work a glory hole tonight? I am... The spirits say you need to go to the work the work glory well, hole. You know, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really disappointed in you. Now, now we're just, like, talking about gay sex. And it's, it's so, like... I was really hoping to find some insight into what I'm going through. And I think I've helped, Dave. I think I've helped. Um, I don't think you have. I mean, you need What is that, to, Dave? Let me ask you then. If 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 your if your common sense, if your if your brain took you to me and then that led to disappointment where your conclusions were wrong, what would that tell you? In regard to what? In regards to many of your choices and decisions and thoughts. About what? About about a lot of things. Listen, I I, I, I contacted you initially because uh -huh. I was looking for some sort of spiritual yes. advice on a situation in regards to a woman, and you keep like harping on sex and stuff, and I keep saying it's not about that. Yes, yes. Not about that. And then you sent me to this site. I didn't. The spirits did. Like gay stuff. And I really, I, I got nothing against gay people and gay sex. No, that's really what all homophobes say, but go ahead. And now you, you, you're, you're, you're putting this in on me, and I'm just very disappointed in all of it. So, I, I mean, I guess for the sakes of my book that's being written about me, uh, 1 to 10, how would you rank me? Um, I'm trying to, I, I don't understand... I, I don't know how to rank you. Okay. One to you, ten, you, you pick a number. You one thing, and you, it's, it's another. I mean, I, I really, I, I don't, I, I honestly want some kind of, like, spiritual guidance in regards to my Yes, life. I am doing and my I best to give want, it to you. I, I seek that. I don't want some kind of sexual Well, here's the thing. thing. I really my, I'm going to be honest to my... 
Um, my my spirit guide is a uh, is a well known homosexual who is who's died. Listen, so. I got nothing against gay people. I got nothing. But this whole issue of sexuality and gay people yeah. is not the issue. I'm trying, as I say to you, from the have you ever bought a hooker? This whole whole thing for me has been something where I want to be skeptical. I don't no. know if this is psychic. No. You talk to me about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. I am not okay. into that. Now, I want to be straight and honest with you about that. Now, now here's Dave. I'm going to be 100% yeah. clear with you. The, the, yeah. woman, the woman who's been communicating with you through the radio tower? Yeah. It's not her. It's been me. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, if that, okay, if that's true. I'm sorry. I've, 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 I did this to try to meet you because I, I thought you were sending me messages, and I, so I went and I bought a radio tower and I started sending you messages as her, in hopes that I could get to know you better. I don't know how that makes anything different. Well, what it means is that she hasn't been sending you messages. She's just a normal woman. She doesn't really know much about you or have much knowledge, if any, at all of you. It was me who's been sending those psychic messages to okay. you through my radio that's tower. True, and I apologize. The name, the name the animal that she is an expert on. The animal is a, kang a kangaroo. She studies a particular animal. It's marsupials. Okay. Mm hmm What type of marsupial? Well, it's it's all kinds of marsupials, but uh, <laughs> their big ones are kangaroos, koalas, and... Um, okay, listen. Um, what you just said is incorrect. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to you. I'm sure you're into whatever, but what you said is not... Correct. Well, that means that could only mean one in thing. A completely separate uh, field of study. Well, and I apologize if I've hurt your feelings or anything. Whenever I go online, as I speak to you now, yes, God, I yes. don't mean to be mean or or or, or angry or anything. Well, I you, spoke to you. I contacted you. You killed my in, in, a, in a sincere hope that I could figure out yes. my predicament. I don't mean to be mean to you. I, 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 I am I hurt you because you just outsmarted I me. I, and Dave, I, and I Dave, Dave, I am hurt because you did just outsmart me, and that does I hurt. I didn't outsmart you. You did. I didn't you. you did. I, I am the one who's been sending those thoughts to you, though. I am the one. I'm the one with the radio tower. Um, with a woman with uh, that much listen. going on in her life, what? why would she be sitting on a radio tower sending messages? Why wouldn't it be just some weirdo that has psychic abilities and is trying to find uh, gay lovers in Jersey? The, which one makes more sense to you? Um, it's not about m it making sense. It's, it's, it's just something that doesn't work. I need you to go back to that website again. Uh, no, I, I really don't want to subject my computer to that kind of stuff because it's just, I mean, I got nothing against porn. I got nothing against gay porn. It's just that when you, infl you, infl you infect your computer with that, it really hurts it. I wouldn't do that to you. Please don't do that to me. I was only trying to get you in my bed. I apologize. Okay, well, listen, I, 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 I appreciate the I'm candor. I'm going to stop sending you, you the. You on. I, I'm, I apologize. Yep, and Dave, Dave, you don't owe me an apology. I owe you one. I'm going to stop pretending to be somebody else and send you messages. I'm going to okay. stop. All right. Okay. So if you think that you're receiving messages, you're not. It's probably just your hope that she really would. But it was because I was doing it. So I, I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Hey, I'm, listen, so, man. I'm sorry. Uh, we didn't have the most pleasant conversation. No, but I think we, we got to the bottom of a lot. Conversation, but hey, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, and I think we got to the bottom of a lot. She's not sending you messages. I am, and I'm sorry. Well, if you insist on making that statement, I really don't know how I can argue with it. Okay, and if I'm ever in Jersey, let's go. Let's go get a sub. Uh, I really can't. 
You can come. Right. We can ha- we can get a sub. Go back to my hotel room, and I'll just kiss you, and we'll just see how it feels. Um, let me say no to that. I mean, I'll give you a back rub, and then if you want me to kiss you, you just tell me. It, I'm through, still through, going to be honest with you and say no. <laughs> well, tell sure. you're telling me just, you're telling me no, like but telepathically, in a nice cordial manner. Telepathically, okay. I'm I'm hearing yes though. That's will you stop no, telling no, me no, no but I'm saying yes? Yes. But Dave, will you stop telling me no but saying yes? It's so confusing. You uh, yes. both keep saying no, but you're. I would like I would like this conversation to end right now in a pleasant, cordial manner. Okay. So well, hang up. well, I okay. Will you say one thing for me? Will you say PLA go away? I don't know what that means. Just say PLA go away. I don't know what that means. It, it it's just the way that I will I will stop sending communications if you say it. Um, it's, I so. rather I, you you sent me to some websites that I really didn't want to see, and I really didn't like. And I really don't enjoy that stuff. I would okay. not do that to you. I I, I know. I really don't want to cooperate with you anymore on any more details. I know, but I, I will. Don't do this to you, pal. I don't I will, do this to you. I will I don't hang. Flick things upon you. I Please apologize. Don't upon me. If you just say PLA go away, that's like saying goodbye I'm to me. I'm gonna go now, man. Listen, I gotta hang up. Take care, pal. PLA go away. Say it, motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> He's gone. Holy Christ. <laughs> what?